Welcome to Storytime at Tiny Readers Publishing. My name is Miss Carolyn, and I'll be your storyteller today. Have you ever been to a lantern festival? If not, you're in for a treat with today's book. We'll be learning all about the lantern festival in China in today's book called Dao Dao's Wishing Lantern by Jane Chen. Dao Dao's Wishing Lantern by Jane Chen. Today is the Lantern Festival in China, and there are so many fun things to do. Dao Dao is very excited because this year his mom is teaching him to make Tan Yuan, a traditional Chinese festival food. He has a special Tan Yuan recipe he'd like to try. Also, later that night he will get to go see the beautiful flying lanterns. It is said that making a wish on a flying lantern will make it come true. What will Dao Dao wish for, and will it come true? Find out in this story, originally written in simplified Chinese, written by Jane Chen, illustrated by Shalimar Mugo, narrated by Carolyn Michelson. The Lantern Festival comes every January 15th of the lunar year. Tonight, Dao Dao's family will go see the lanterns light the night sky. But first, Dao Dao's mom has decided to make Tan Yuan for the special day. Tan Yuan is a tasty dessert made from rice flour. It's rolled into balls and boiled in water. Then they are flavored with all sorts of treats, including cane sugar and peanuts. Sometimes they are even filled with jam. Dao Dao can't wait to see the lanterns, but he's even more excited about the Tan Yuan. This year, Mom has decided to teach Dao Dao how to make it. Dao Dao puts his hands into the flour to try to help Mom mix it. You are a good boy today, my little Dao Dao," praises Mom. Once the flour is ready, Mom shows him how to put the flour in his hand and press it flat. Then it is time to put in the filling. Dao Dao comes up with a good idea. He runs to his room, gets a chocolate candy, and puts it in the Tan Yuan filling. This will be his little secret. Dao Dao waits a long time for the Tan Yuan to cook. He is so happy when they are finally done. He made these Tan Yuan all by himself. They should taste special. He bites one, no chocolate. He bites another one, still no chocolate. Now he is worried. My chocolate Tan Yuan is not here. He thinks. Where is it? Dao Dao still wonders where his chocolate Tan Yuan is when he hears someone yelp, "Ouch!" Then he hears Mom ask, "What's wrong?" Oh, I ate a strange Tan Yuan. It was not soft. It was very hard and tasted like chocolate. Dad says. Dao Dao bursts into <laughs> laughter. Dad found his special Tan Yuan. Dao Dao feels very proud of himself. After dinner, Dao Dao and his parents go to the festival. It is very crowded. Almost everyone is carrying a paper lantern with a riddle written on it. Dao Dao loves to watch the lanterns fly. He wants to light his very own lantern and watch it fly into the sky. But first, his parents want to answer riddles. Mom picks one lantern and reads the riddle for Dao Dao. I run away quickly. Nobody can catch me. I run through the trees and they all bend down for me. I run over the sea and the waves all say hi to me. Hmm. 
Dodo thinks for a while and says, Is it a horse? Mom shakes her head. A horse can't swim, she says. How can it run over the sea? Dodo answers again quickly. Is it a dolphin? Dolphins can swim. Mom shakes her head again. But a dolphin can't run through the trees. Dow Dow loses his patience and says, I give up. I don't want to guess this one. It's too hard for me. Dad tells Dow Dow, Don't give up so quickly. Think about it carefully. Why do the trees sometimes bend down? And why do the waves sometimes come up high? Dow Dow closes his eyes and draws pictures of the trees and the waves in his mind. He suddenly opens his eyes and says, I get it! I get it! It's the wind! The wind runs very fast! Am I right? Am I right? Dow Dow is so clever, Mom says, and gives him a blue lantern as a reward. Now it is time to watch the flying lanterns. These are different than the lanterns with riddles on them. They are small hot air balloons that float into the sky. They come in many different shapes. Lotus flowers, spheres, boxes, and even animals. Dow Dow likes the animal shapes best. People choose lanterns and light them. Then they make wishes and let them fly to the sky. It is said that the god in the sky will hear their wishes and help them come true. Dow Dow has come up with a very special wish and he can't wait to send it to the sky. Different shaped lanterns fill the sky. Mom, look at that! Dow Dow says excitedly, pointing to the flying lanterns. That's a tiger! And that one over there! That's a deer, isn't it? Yes, it's a deer. You're right. Which shape would you like? Mom asks. Hmm. I would like a puppy shape. It looks cute. But I also want a dragon. Dow Dow finally decides. I was born in the year of the dragon, so I will choose a dragon lantern. He lights the candle with help from Dad and Mom. Then he puts it inside the dragon-shaped lantern. The lantern fills up with hot air and gets very big. Dow Dow, make a wish before it flies away, says Dad. Dow Dow closes his eyes and thinks his wish. When he opens his eyes, the lantern is already starting to fly. They watch the lantern fly farther and farther away. Mom asks, What was your wish, Dow Dow? Ah, uh, I won't tell you, he answers. That's my secret. Later that night, they all go home. Dow Dow is very tired from all of the excitement. He falls asleep quickly, thinking about his beautiful lantern floating away with his wish. He loved all of the pretend animals made from lanterns, but he would love to see the real ones at the zoo. Dow Dow smiles. In his dream, his wish has already come true. The End I hope you enjoyed our story today. If you had a wishing lantern, what would you wish for? I think I would wish for a trip to someplace fun, just like Dow Dow. Come back soon and join me for another story time. Or you can find our book on nomilomi.com or on the Nomilomi app. Bye-bye!